Oh, I just read this. You want me to tell you I was claiming, I was making an unverified claim that you can customize your player colors. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we're going to change the player colors on my computer. Let's do it. All right. Uh, so well, let's get our data browser, data browser. All right, great. Uh, this is data browser. So this is uh, this is patch 130 here. This is the latest. I, I use the latest. Okay, so if you go in War 3, replaceable textures, okay, uh, this is the data of the game. And there's Team Glow, and there's 27 of them. And there's Team Color, and there's 27 of them. Now, this is the data browser, so we can open any of these to see them, right? Uh, just double click. See, so this is the color, red, green, blue. This is the glow, right? Red, blue, excuse me, red, blue, green, purple. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to decide that we hate the white color, and we're going to make it a different color. So let's get, which one is the white color? What is that? That's like 21, is that right? Is that 21? Let's see. Uh, snow is 22. But this one starts at 1. This is, this is stupid, remember this. Remember this, this is really important. This one starts at 1, and the data browser starts at 0, okay? It's made by stupid programmers. So we want to replace 22, so we're going to extract out 21. Uh, great. So make like a folder on your computer that is going to be our uh, our workspace. Uh, sure, we'll make like a, a data folder. And uh, I, this doesn't, I'm making up folder names, right? So this is going to be like workspace color replace. This, obviously, this doesn't change the game at all. I made this name up. Uh, but we'll we'll show you how to get it to the, the right place that it does change the game after we customize the color on this. So uh, we're gonna go into Warcraft Data Workspace Color Replace. First off, yeah, we need to uh, we need to make folder names that exactly match what's in the game. So this is replaceable textures. Inside that is a folder called Team Glow, and inside that is where we put the glow. And then we're gonna have the same with the color. We're gonna replace color 21. Uh, so we'll just go to replaceable textures, Team Color. We'll go in there and we'll also have color 21. Now, the next thing you got to do is you need to have a way to edit a BLP texture. So for that, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I think this computer might have BLP lab. It ought to have BLP lab. I guess it doesn't. That's really stupid. Uh, so let's let's get a let's get us BLP lab here. Let's see if I have on here somewhere BLP lab. I should have that. I don't know. I don't have that. That's really, really bad that I don't have that. That would be a really useful thing to have right now. Okay, uh, let's download Let's download the BLP lab. BLP lab. All right. BLP lab, 0.5. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, I don't need to log in. Don't do that. Uh, let's just go back, and we'll just download BLP lab. Great. Okay, so you need this to edit the textures. you gotta edit, You got to edit the textures of Warcraft, right? So I'm going to edit them in paint, but I have to, I have, to have a, a converter. So that's what this is for. So this is going to give me so I can edit on the paint. Great. So now I have this. Uh, let's run that. And let's open the textures. And remember, it's in documents and data. I just created this place to work on it. Uh, so we're just going to, like, save as PNG. Like, just get it so we can edit it. Okay, this is Team Color 21. Great. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get... Uh, Let's get the glow, glow file, right? Team color 21. Save that as a PNG. So this is a team color. Oh, it's trying to do some kind of optimization. We don't want that. All right, uh, save as. Why oh, is that a different menu? I must have clicked save optimize. Don't click save optimize. That was a mistake. Team glow 21, PNG. Okay, great. So now let's see if we can get, uh, is this the right data folder? I don't think it is. Let's get Warcraft 3 data. Uh, so first off, yeah, let's edit with, uh, the Microsoft is like trying to give you viruses on this new operating system. All right, great. Here we go. We're gonna edit it here, and we're gonna edit the glow. We're gonna edit the glow, and we're gonna edit the color. So these are two separate guys. Now I'm not exactly sure what color this should be, and my the point of this tutorial is not to tell you what color to pick. So we'll we'll use the sepia to like give it some coloration. I don't really know. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like just do some kind of image editing, right? So that you get okay. We don't want this crazy saturation here, but. I don't know, maybe we do, but we want it to be like uh, just some recognizable color. That's a good color. Some kind of color that's not already. Most of the colors are already used in the game. We'll make it this kind of gold color. That'll be hard to tell with the other colors, but at least it's not white because white's like stupid. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll just hit the sepia button on this too, and we'll try to uh, keep that saturate this to the max. That is really not max. I don't know why they're making that. 
Look, okay, just get the paint bucket and just choose your favorite color and put it the paint bucket on there, okay? And don't do save as, that was a mistake. Just do save, okay? Just do save. This one, uh, is it just like a colorize button that I can just, I just want to make it more colorful. It's kind of colorful, but not really. That just looks bad. Alright, we're just going to go with, with, with this one. Alright, just save that. That should be good. So now I made it, I made it kind of gold. So like I made the yellow, or I made the white color kind of a golden color. Just because I'm annoyed at white because it, it's really hard to tell in multiplayer that it's not me. So I changed that. Now I'm going to open uh, this PNG. And what we're doing now is we're taking it back to a BLP. Don't ever use BLP2. I think that's World of Warcraft. That's stupid. Don't use that. Alright, uh, so we do that. And we go to color 21. And we'll save that as BLP1 also. So I'm pretty sure uh, now we could even do like file open with a Warcraft viewer just to be totally sure that if I go to documents Warcraft to my data that uh, the BLP, right, you could do this in like Magos or something. Okay, so actually this didn't work. I put I put them in the wrong folder. So it looks like I put team glow in color and did I put team color in glow? No, I didn't. So let's go fix that, right? So I just saved it in the wrong folder on accident. If we go to this team color thing, we have glow BLP, and we didn't mean to do that. So we're going to overwrite uh, the one in the glow folder. And I think that should mean team color. This is not correct at all. This is, this is not correct at all. All right. Um, yeah, so let me just do it again. I, I, I messed up the names. OK, so we're going we're gonna to say, right, this, I just opened team glow 21, and we have to put it Team Glow 21 BLP. Okay, now let's open the color. This is not supposed to be that hard. Obviously, uh, I'm just, it's like a bad day or something here. I just messed it up. So, why does this want to go in the Glow folder? This is the color again. This thing's trying to throw me off. All right, pretty sure we just saved it. Let's double check on this other program. All right, this is the Glow. It's golden now. This is the color. It's yellow now. All right, great. So what we've created now is a set of game data files where and we can delete the PNGs because we don't, we don't care about those, right? So we've created a set of game data files now in this workspace color replace that uh, within those game data files it modifies the game so that the colors are different. Now what you do, uh, there's this just bug in the game from when they were developing Reforged that if you make a folder called war3mod.mpq in your Warcraft installation it loads that as game data files. So now if I run Warcraft 3 uh, what you're going to see is that the gold color is going to be why is it random chaos? The gold color is going to be replaced, or the, the excuse me, the white color is going to be replaced with a shade of gold. It might clash with uh, you know maybe one of the like wheat colors is going to look the same as that, but I don't really care about that. So let's just go to some basic map like uh, Booty Bay and let's just see can I play it? See now there's no white color. Instead we introduced a second shade of gold that's slightly different than the other gold. Uh, so like I can I can play that as like human. And you'll see when we go in the game that my color is now, I believe, this custom oh, shade of, of kind of gold. I'm not even sure if this is wheat or like if I chose the wheat color or my custom color. So let me just double check this again. That uh, we should be color 22. So here's five, right? So five takes us to orange. Five more takes us to dark green. Five more takes us here. Five more takes us here. So that's, I messed that up. Wait, five, 10, 15, 20? but then 22 would be down here. I don't know, dude. There's 24 colors. 22 should be this one. But I sure can't hardly tell. I mean, it looks like it's built in. I kind of would have thought maybe it wouldn't work. I actually, I made it up when I said that it would work. It looks like it worked, though. Uh, let's get a hero. So basically, I just changed the colors. And uh, now my Blade Master should have like that glow I just made when we were editing as his color, right? And you can see maybe there's a little bit of like artifacts around the glow because I kind of messed with it a little bit. Uh, but that allows you to just change your color. So for another example, uh, let's change red and blue because some people maybe they get really annoyed at red and blue. And for that, let's keep it simple. Let's just switch red and blue to a different place. So like the default when you just start playing the game are going to be different, right? So we'll get our data browser again, and because like maybe you're just tired of red and blue, you know, maybe I'm tired of red and blue. So we're just going to go in here to replaceable textures, and we're again going to go to team color and team glow, but this time what we want to do is we want to export three, which is purple. We're going to replace red with that. So we're going to call it zero zero, and then we're going to export uh, four three three again, 
which is that we're going to call it 0, 0 in the, in the team uh, glow folder. But the trick is, right, you want to keep red. You, you want to keep the red color. So we'll export that as, as the fourth color, right? Because you might want it, like, while you're working in the game or something. Uh, but we'll just make that the fourth color. So we'll put that in here. That should be good. And now we could even delete our old Warcraft mod folder that we made, but if we go back to uh, Warcraft 3, here we go, Warcraft data, our workspace color replace, right? We can copy workspace color replace in here again, rename that to War 3 mod, and now we will have flipped uh, red and purple, just in case you're tired of red, but you don't actually want to make a custom color uh, or something like that, right? So you could also do this where you could, if you if you don't have a lot of time, you could just replace white with red, and then you just do that. So now, uh, now purple is the first color, right? So we can do purple versus our new golden color, uh, and we could try a game like that. And you can see we have effectively replaced, so that now I, as player one, uh, using the player one default color, have defaulted to the purple color, right? And that's just that's just the way the game is built, right? That there are just these images that determine the colors. Like all of a sudden, I'm the purple player. Right, but I'm red, and you'd get the same thing if you turn on the ally color mode, uh, so that I'm blue and the enemy's red. Instead, now I'm blue and the enemy's probably going to be purple. Yeah, and the enemy's purple, right? Because although they're red on the map, uh, we've effectively replaced it. So this actually brings up another interesting point. If we turn that off, are they red or uh, not red on the map? Which I think is actually kind of funny because if you look, they're not red on the map. So you can tell that the map color is actually using. Uh, some kind of hard-coded red when you turn that setting on and off that we can't fix, but uh, generally the player's display is using the one that we can change. And it looks like the map color, uh, when you don't have the ally color mode, is using our customized shade of gold. So let's go to a map with more players, like a Frozen Throne map with like, you know, just like four players. Uh, I'm just kind of curious so that we can totally confirm that we're not crazy. Let's put all our different shades of like goldish pinkish that we put in here because of my modifying and see what we got. Just make sure their map colors are all working how we would expect. But basically, I mean, you can tell you would never want this to be your actual colors in the game uh, because I've created like two different shades of glitchy gold, like because there's already the like wheat, gold, whatever. Um, but they do work on the minimap, right? So everything pretty much works except that we know that ally color mode red is hard forced red on the map, even though we've replaced red with purple for all other purposes. Uh, and you can see like even my, my text color when I chat is purple here. So that is how you take the colors of Warcraft 30 and replace them with whatever colors you would like. Uh, it's very doable, and we just did it. And so, uh, obviously, there will be a future patch, probably, where Blizzard will figure out that while they were developing Reforged and they put this War 3 mod MPQ folder thing in, that they probably want to get rid of that, so you can't modify your name. Having this folder here uh, will cause you to desync if you put data in it that is not colors. So, like, colors like this are not a synchronized checked feature, so you can play multiplayer just fine. But if you put something in that folder, like custom unit data or something to like mod your game client, you're gonna get a desync every time you play with someone online. So you gotta keep that in mind, right? Don't uh, don't let that happen to you. Uh, for example, I gave I gave a friend a vi tutorial video where I showed them how you can add in the world editor, you can add back the fields on incinerate arrow, so you can customize the incinerate arrow ability. Uh, using this very same methodology, you just go in there and you add fields. And it works, you can make custom abilities off of it. But when I have that in my installation, then I in, in, like insta desync anytime I play online. So you don't you don't want to do this too frequently, but for colors, it should work just fine. Alright, great. Hope you have a good day.